I saw a girl look in the mirror today and I wondered to myself if she was okay. She didn't smile, in fact she just frowned, disgusted with her own skin a dark shade of brown. I continued watching as she tugged at her curls, saddened that her hair wasn't like the straight haired girls. As I watched on, she sucked in her lips. She's been told that they were too big and so were her hips. She continued staring at her reflection as she took hold of her midsection. She was so sure that she was too fat and so she stopped eating. Negative comments of herself she kept repeating. I know what made her think this way. The expectations of beauty society has today. We are in a world that's so corrupt that even in their own skin, beautiful women just feel stuck. And all we do is look on in dismay. But I'm here to tell you right now, this isn't okay. She is your wife, your daughter, your sister, and your friend. We have to find a way to make this self-consciousness end because when did self-hate become a trend? <laughs> okay, so remember that scene from The Color Purple. It is funny, it is fictional, but a scientific article, presumably based on fact, makes a similar statement that black women are uglier than women of other races, and a lot of people aren't finding anything funny about that. An evolutionary psychologist wrote the article, which appeared on the website of Psychology, Psychology Today. I need some more blind. You think you Caucasian? What? Yeah, you think you Caucasian? You better get. <laughs> do, you, do you think you Caucasian? Do you think you Caucasian? Why you got some white hair? Oh my goodness, Lord Jesus. This is blind hair, Mariah. Then why do you have white hair? Like, you think you Caucasian? Mariah, this is blind hair. Why do you think you Caucasian? Get out of here, Mariah. You think you Caucasian? Move, get out. You don't think you Caucasian, you is brown. You think you Caucasian? Mariah, I know what color I am. You think you Caucasian? No, I do not think I'm Caucasian. You think you Caucasian? I just said no. Well, I think you are. I don't think I'm Caucasian, Mariah. Why do you have white hair? It's blonde hair, it's not white. Why do you have white hair? You was African America. What's your doing white hair? How often do you bleach your skin? Every day. White like Michael Jackson babes. Well, that is Cameroonian pop singer Densia. She has sparked a worldwide conversation, a debate, over the issue of skin lightening or bleaching. Sean Yancey has been looking at the issues surrounding the practice of skin lightening for weeks now. And Sean joins us here on Good Day with a very special guest this morning. That's right. Yes. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks so much for having us this morning. Densia not only sparked this debate, not only because she lightens her skin, but because she also has a line of skin lightening products called White Nishes. They're advertised as dark spot removers that can work in three days to two weeks. Densia has been criticized for not only promoting skin lightening, but also self-hatred among women of color. It really boils down to the belief that the lighter your skin tone, the prettier you are, the smarter you are. More valuable and worthy you y are. True. Yeah. And, and, and the easier you have it, you know, that's the perception. So colorism has been around for a very long time. What, 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 where did it come from? Well, it, its roots are really in, it go all the way back to slavery, where the uh, slave women were bred and created children, and the children became lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. 
and that the mother herself was often left out in the field, and she therefore became a field hand. Our self-hate, our disgust for our own people, our desire to be equal according to the feminist white Eurocentric perspective, it's all played a really huge hand in turning us into double agents against our own people. Now I'm a black woman and I love black men and I don't want to see nothing but the best. But the truth is black women have dropped the ball. We've gotten so caught up in the whole weave wearing, perming, lightening our skin, materialistic, I gotta have on Christian Dior, just nonsense, a low class way of thinking, a low class way of being. And I'm here to say black women, we need to take a pledge today. We gotta stop this. It's killing our community, it's detrimental to our men, it's detrimental to our sons, and it's detrimental to us. For all you sisters that's going around, say so talking about ain't no good black men, we need white men. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Your black men brought you through slavery just as you brought them through. Your black men died for you on those trees. Your black men died for you on those ships. How dare you get up in 2008 and all of a sudden decide that you don't need a black man. Do you, do, you, um, do you date white men? I love white guys. White I men? Actually, I actually don't date black guys. Really? Really? No, I don't. Why? Like, why? Is that per just a personal choice? I just... Did you have a bad experience? No, I just think... I don't know. I just have a thing for white boys. That's interesting. You know, a little vanilla and a little chocolate. They make you babies. Hey, you guys. So, my name is Pierre, and this is my first video, of course. And I just wanted to do a video on why I personally like white guys. But I love white guys, I really do. They don't like me, but I like them. Maybe because like the school I go to is just a bunch of racist rednecks who don't give a damn about anybody else's feelings but themselves. I hate black women. Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? I feel kind of bad for them though. They can't, they can't brush their hair. Or they gotta pat that weave, it. girl. They can't itch it. it. They can't itch it. They gotta pat that weed. Or or what? I'm in my first it. hour, right? I'm or go, my... or go. I'm in my first they hour. They can't do that. I want style, body to shine. I look that totally on mine. Hair so soft, silky and free. I want something just for me. Just for me. No my conditioning, relax or cream. Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach? To get like the white man. Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate? You should ask who yourself who taught you to hate being what God gave you. Shalom, shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people that was stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are, but you are the children of, of Yahweh, the children of Israel. And I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem, because as the Gentiles, we do need you. We need you to come and pray because you are our saviors. You're the one that was chosen by Yahweh 